So we're gonna start off with the Fenty Beauty Primer. What I love about this is if you have oily lids, it helps to mattify and gives the color more vibrancy and lasting power. So we're just gonna take a tip. Just apply it right to the lid. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Snap Palette. And this is in the color Wine. And I love how the primer is really making that color pop and just stay put. Circle, circle, side, side. Yes, that's circle. the motion <laughs> that I learned. Circle, circle, side, side. Yeah. That's the only thing I know about eye makeup. <laughs> I can't go beyond this stage. Well, you got it. I feel like the crease is the most important stuff. <laughs> really? Why is that? Yes, because it adds the definition to the eye. Okay. Give that lint color, that impact it needs, it bridges the gap. And it should be a dark, the darkest shade. Right. It definitely should be a warmer shade than whatever you're going to put in So next, I'm going to take this champagne color right here, and we're just going to pat that onto the crease. So here I have like a tapered blending brush. That's perfect for this application. You can use it in the crease as well, but we're just gonna use this on the lid. Just to add a little color on that brown bone, I'm gonna take this matte shade right here. with the Fenty Beauty Volumizer Mascara, and this is gonna take our look up a notch. Don't forget that bottom lash line. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead in with the Instant Retouch Primer. We've already prepped her face, but this is gonna really help control the oils and just provide a really beautiful matte finish for our foundation application. So now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. And we're just gonna place it under the eyes just to kind of brighten the skin. You can also use it in any place in the face where you might have some blemishes or discoloration. I'm just going to put three little dots here. I just want to highlight the bridge bone. It's just going to add some definition to brighten the center of the face. You can use a beauty blender and do it. So you're brightening the lower part of my like, yes, like right underneath your eye. Oh, with, yeah. a, with a lighter shade of concealer. Mm -hmm. With a lighter shade. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the cream blush, and I'm gonna use this as a contour, so I'm gonna go in with this product before I actually apply the powder foundation. I'm placing it at the highest point of the cheekbone. Okay. So right here working your way down. And of course you could do the exact thing to find where that indentation is for you your face. And that's for bronzer or blush? So I'm using it as a bronzer. Okay. But you can definitely use it either way. So now my favorite part I absolutely love this foundation. So this is the Pro Filter Powder. What I love about it, it blurs any imperfection in the skin. It doesn't give like a powdery, cakey look. It just looks like airbrushed skin. So we're just gonna apply that lightly with a brush for a really nice, flawless finish. This is her highlighter duo. So this is in the color Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. Okay. I'm gonna use Afternoon Snack. We're just gonna hit the 
top of the cheek bone. You can customize it. You can mix both shades together or you can just use one. What I love about this line is the many, many different options for all women of all shades. So as you can see, I'm like placing it down the bridge of the nose, the forehead a little bit on the chin. You just kind of want to place it any place that the sun naturally hits the face. You can't forget about the lips. So we're going to go in with the Pro Kisser Lip Balm. Again, just keeping this very light and airy. So this is in the color Latte Lip. So this is our daytime face. purple shade and we're just going to pop it into the fridge. Just adding a little punch of color. This is informative. <laughs> I have no I I've never every time I have a eye palette I just sort of sprinkle the pink over my eyelid and that's enough. No, you have to go in I feel like two colors at least bare minimum. And then just add the deeper color for nighttime right in the outer V like I'm doing right now. And it truly transforms your look. This color is so gorgeous. What's it called? It's called Wine. And it has some beautiful champagne and berry shades. So it's perfect for any skin tone. So I'm just adding some liner close to the lash line. And it's just going to give the eyes some further definition, really make the lashes stand out and pop. And I didn't use a black eye cream, a brown with a little bit of shimmer. So it just plays up really nicely on that purple without being too dramatic. I'm not used to wearing this with much makeup. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm getting a little hot. No! <laughs> no, I, I like it. I'm just, you know. Yes. A lip balm girl. And that's okay.